RJ Barrett has been sensational for the New York Knicks this season. I know it's only been a few games, but if you take a look at the roster, it's without question that RJ Barrett has looked like the best player on the floor for the New York Knicks. And recently, he just achieved a major milestone in his young Knicks career. We're going to break down exactly what that is and what he feels about it. Also, if you remember Jericho Sims, he was displaying one of the worst jump shots that we've seen in preseason. Well, it looks like he heard those criticisms and he's been in the lab. And I'm happy to say his jump shot looks so much better. We're going to break down all of this and so much more today. Let's get started. RJ Barrett has just reached a major Nick milestone and I'm so happy to hear that he's done it because RJ Barrett has arguably looked like the best player on the New York Knicks floor to start this season. He's been consistent. He's been impactful. He's been getting to the line. He's been taking important and open threes and he's been playing his game to the best of his abilities. And now he's reached 5,000 career points. Shout out to RJ Barrett for reaching this major milestone. He is the youngest Nick player to get 5,000 career points. And when he reached this milestone, he was actually asked about it. And this is what he had to say about reaching that 5K point mark in his career with the New York Knicks. According to Barrett, it's a testament to all the work and the trust that the organization has had in me. I'm grateful it came on a night that we got to win. I love what RJ Barrett just said there, because you know what? If the Knicks had lost the game against the Clippers and he got that milestone, it wouldn't have mattered to him. He wouldn't have cared. It wouldn't have mattered that he was the youngest Nick to reach 5,000 points in his career because they would have lost the game. And RJ Barrett is a competitor and he wants to win each and every game he's a part of. And the Knicks absolutely demolished the Clippers. They got the W. So that was sweet. But on top of that for RJ Barrett, it got even sweeter because he was the youngest Nick player to reach 5,000 career points. And this season for the Knicks, he's looked confident. He's looked comfortable. But the major part and why it's been looking so good is because RJ Barrett for the first time in his career with the Knicks, has remained and maintained and looked consistent each and every game, regardless of what the other players on the team is doing, regardless of what the other players on the team is doing in terms of defense. It doesn't matter for R.J. Barrett. He's going to play defense no matter what. He's going to play his game on offense no matter what. If you give him the three with enough space, He's going to take it, but he's not going to force threes and take too many of them because he knows that's not his game. His game is being aggressive, driving, taking contact, getting the and one and getting to the line. And that is exactly what RJ Barrett has been doing. It's basically a continuation from what he's been doing from the playoffs last year into this season. And it's beautiful to watch. He's stronger. You can tell because he's taking contact against some of the elite players in the league today and still being able to finish and get to the line. That is a testament to how much work this kid has put in. He's heard it each and every year. All the negativity, all of the things about, well, you're not Zion. Well, you're not Ja. The New York Knicks drafted a lemon. That's what a lot of players and a lot of people around the league were saying about RJ Barrett. He heard that. He had a chip on his shoulder, and I can say right now, starting this year, R.J. Barrett is looking so incredible, so phenomenal. I think he's actually the leading scorer for the New York Knicks. I'm sure nobody would have predicted that for this Knicks team. R.J. Barrett seems like he's ascending, like he's taking, like he's taking the reins from this Knicks team and saying, you know what? I don't care if Randall has it or not. I don't care if Brunson has it or not. Because I'm going to play my game. I'm going to be impactful. I'm going to help this Knicks team win. And I'm going to make sure when I'm on the floor, we are a competitive basketball team. And that's exactly what we've seen from the Knicks. The Knicks were missing R.J. Barrett the last few games as he was dealing with left knee soreness. 
Now, after the game yesterday night, when he was asked about that knee soreness, he said he is still experiencing it, but he's going to have to play through it. And that's what he seems like he's going to do. And the Knicks absolutely need him to play through it. Hopefully, he's not playing through it and risking further injury. I hope that's not the case. Because if it is, he needs to stop playing immediately. His future is too bright. He's having one of the best seasons of his entire career. And you do not want to have him jeopardize that in spite of everything that he's doing right now to play through an injury that he doesn't need to play through right now. i rather him heal himself and heal that injury fully and come back 100% and drop it even harder on top of these team's heads. But if the doctors are willing to... But if the doctors are willing to let him play and feel like he's not going to risk himself, his health, or his career by playing, I'm not going to turn him away. Because like I said, without RJ Barrett these last few games, the Knicks have struggled to show anything on offense. Offensive futility is what I've dubbed it. When you add RJ Barrett back into the mix, for some reason, it seems like the Knicks are clicking better, they're making more shots, and they just look better. And I think RJ Barrett is a big part of that. And I love to see it. RJ Barrett last night at 26 points, 9 of 16 shooting, 2 of 4 from 3, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Impactful. Best player on the Knicks floor last night. RJ Barrett. Arguably the best player on the floor for the Knicks the entire season thus far. Give him his praise. Give him his kudos. A lot of people have been talking about this kid, saying he wasn't on that level, saying he couldn't reach that level, saying he couldn't become one of the best players for the Knicks. I don't hear anything now because RJ is ascending. And mind you, even though he's playing like this now and looks great, I actually think RJ Barrett has another level to jump to. And I think over the course of this season, as he continues to gel with this Knicks team, and gets better and better and better with them. He's going to find that game, and he's going to go off, be explosive, and look even more like the best player on the floor for the Knicks. And let me say this. R.J. Barrett has never had a lot of consistency in terms of players around him and his role on this Knicks team. You can say, really, for the first time, they're bringing back a consistent group of guys from last year, including... A breakout season from their point guard, Jalen Brunson, and another year of him. And R.J. Barrett is getting to experience that and getting to experience that chemistry and getting to experience, I know it's a key word, continuity with this Knicks team. And maybe that's what he needed. Maybe he needed more consistency with this team. And because of that, maybe that's why he's going off. I can't explain it, but you know what? I don't want to explain it. RJ Barrett is good. He's looking like the best player on the floor. I love what I'm seeing and I hope he can continue to push his game, elevate his game and get better and better and better because I think sky's the limit for this kid and I love what I'm seeing. Jericho Sims apparently has a new jumper. Now I was one of the main people who criticized Jericho Sims for one of the worst jump shots I saw displayed on a New York Knicks floor. I don't care if it was preseason or not. It looked terrible. And I had no qualms about it to go out and tell him that it looked bad. I made a video about it because it did look pretty darn bad. And I said, if he's doing that, there's no way you could play him at the four. And thankfully, whether it's due to rotation or whatnot... We haven't seen Sims play that backup power forward position. It's mainly gone to Josh Hart. However, Sims has heard that criticism and he has been in the lab working on that jump shot. And dare I say, Jericho Sims' jump shot actually looks a lot better now than it did before. Roll the clip.
Jericho Sims in the lab. You gotta love to see it. Getting no playing time, getting no runs, maybe being used in practice, but not seeing any court time during the regular season. And he's still working on his game, still putting in the work. And if you saw that jump shot, it doesn't look as ugly anymore. He has a better form. He has a better release. And actually, he has a better shot. It looks completely different from the shot that we saw in game. Now I know, I know what you're going to say. Troy, it's an empty gym. Everybody looks good in an empty gym. Okay, sure, true. However, I'm looking at the fundamentals and the basics of what he's doing because that's what it's all about and that's what it starts with. And that, those things look better. And because of that, his shot looks better. So that's why I can trust it a little bit more. Obviously, I'm going to need to see all of that and so much more in a regular season game for me to take it seriously. And I'm going to need to see it consistently in order for me to take it seriously. However, this is good to see. It's encouraging to see. And I like seeing that players on the Knicks team who are not actively having playing time, actually going out there, still working on their game, still releasing video on it, and still saying, I'm here, I'm ready, and I'm locked in. And I think that is exactly what Jericho Sims was doing with this video, telling all of the fans, including myself, who said that his jump shot looked poor, that he hurt us, and that he's working on it, and that actually, it looks so much better. Shout out to the young fella. Shout out to Jericho Sims. You're putting in that work. I see you. I like what I'm seeing. Keep it up. But what about you guys? Let me know in the comments. Do you like Jericho Sims' new jumper? Do you think it looks better? And what about RJ Barrett? Has he been the best player on the Knicks floor? And what do you think about the achievement that he did and the milestone that he reached in his young Nick career? Let me know in the comments below because honestly, guys, I would love to hear from you. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Leave a comment below. But of course, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Until next time, Nick fans. Peace.